question. I just like, it kept referring to the R group in the protein, and I just wasn't exactly sure what that meant. <laughs> Is it, it has something with the side chains, right? Or the, is yeah, it the side chains? Yeah, and our group is a side chain. Okay. Same thing. Ah. Okay. So. Oh, well, actually, you're talking about the R group? No, yeah. my question. Oh, sweet. So okay. What is the R group? Again? Um, go to page. Oh, wait. Yeah, put the, this is the. Go to page 79. Oh. And also, so the tertiary structure? Oh, okay. That's a good it's just question. Like the secondary and the tertiary and the R groups are just kind of what I was okay. a little confused on. We'll get to those. Um, okay. So you see the basic structure here with the amino group. Then you have the carbon that has R group. Okay. And then you have the carbonyl carbon. So those are the kind of the that's the if you're look at just the basic structure of an amino acid, it looks like that. Okay. Um, <coughs> Every single one does? Yeah. Okay. So you look here, look, see everything that's in purple? See how they're all the same? Yeah. That's the backbone kind of of an amino acid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our group, R is what just uh, makes them different, right? That's right, yeah. So everything in yellow here is an R group. Everything in green is an R group. Pink and blue. So an R group can pretty much be anything then put together. Mm -hmm. Kind of. These are the, or does but they're pretty be? specific. Okay. I mean, these are the main 20. Let's say protein one, it'll have some amino acid sequence that'll, to us, seems random, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, protein two will have a separate amino acid sequence okay. that to us also seems random. But every time it makes protein two, it'll be the exact same amino acid sequence. Okay, every good. time it makes protein one, same exact amino acid sequence. Okay. Okay. And then what it is is the side chains so the R groups, mm -hmm. they are what kind of determine the protein folding. Okay, the, or like the structure. So yeah, so the amino acids in their sequence with the side chains, the way they are, will cause the protein to fold a certain way. And it'll always fold that certain way. If it doesn't, then we have problems. So, oh, yeah. and that's what they're talking about, about the that blood disorder or something? I don't know if I read that, but Maybe that's yeah, it could wrong. be uh, involved here. I was like, oh, okay. sickle cell. Sickle cell anemia? Oh. Because they're like, holding yeah, it something, off. that's right. The wrong protein, it's, yeah, it's full, and so it binds to it, and then they all bind together, and then it makes like a, I don't know. It stops yeah, they, the blood flow in your The protein hemoglobin is. Yeah, makes it crystal. Slightly messed up. Right. Yeah, and they so they can't carry as much those red blood cells with sickle cell anemia can't carry as much oxygen.